Here are some basics for your iPhone. You always start on the home screen. And you can actually have multiple home screens. So if I swipe to the right, you can see that I've got another screen with a number of icons. I'm going to swipe back to the main home screen. If I swipe from this screen to the left, you'll see that I have a number of widgets here. Back on my home screen, you can get to a few other places. So if I swipe down from the top left or the top middle, it'll bring up my notifications. Let me swipe that up. But if I swipe down from the top right corner, I get Control Center. We're going to talk about Control Center a little bit later, but Control Center has a, a whole lot of shortcuts to different applications and functions on your phone. Okay, To get out of here, I'm just going to swipe up from the bottom. Okay, and if I'm on another page, so if I swipe to the left, I can always get back to the home screen by pushing the home button, if your phone has a home button, or by swiping up from the bottom edge of the screen. There's one more thing that I can do from the home screen, and if I put my finger in the center of the screen and I drag down. So I'm not dragging down from the very top of the screen because you saw that brings up the notifications. I'm, drag I'm putting my finger in the center of the screen and dragging down, okay? And I do that quickly so I'm not resting my finger on the screen but just simply touching and dragging down. And that brings up a search. This is the best way to search for apps or people. So on my phone, I've got a number of different apps. I've got probably too many apps. On your phone, you may have pages and pages of different apps once you start installing things. But sometimes you just can't find the app that you're looking for. So an easy thing to do is to just put your finger in the center of the screen and swipe down. And then search for an app. So say I was looking for the Reminders app. All I have to do is start typing the word Reminders. And you can see that the icon for the app appears in the top row. And if I just tap on that, it will launch me into the Reminders app. Let me swipe up from the bottom of the screen or press my home button to get back to the home screen. And so you can see that by dragging down, this is a great way to search for different apps. Now, you can also search for different people. So let me search for my boss here. And of course, my boss is Joan. So as soon as I start to search for her name, her contact card appears in, in that top row, and I can tap the video icon to start a FaceTime. I can tap the message bubble to send her a text message, or I can tap the phone, and it'll call her. So that's a great shortcut to get to different people. Okay, I'm going to swipe up from the bottom edge to go back to the home screen. There's one other feature of the home screen new in iOS 14. So if you've updated your phone to the latest version of iOS, when you swipe all the way to the right, you get something called the app library. And this is a library of all of the apps that are installed on your phone and you can tap into any one of these categories and see the apps that are there. You can also use the search box in the top. And if I tap into that, 
it brings up a search and I can search for an application that I'm looking for. I can tap on that application to launch it. Okay, so these are some of the basics of your home screen 